In this video, I show you how I wireframe a home page from sketching by hand to sketch the app. I started off by sketching the current home page and making notes on how it could be improved. I thought about what the goals would be for each section of the website so there was a purpose for everything, especially the header. wireframes are for the redesign of the Impossible Project homepage. Impossible Project is a brand that's reinvented instant film photography. They sell original refurbished Polaroid cameras and even their own film. I'm a big fan of the Impossible brand for several years now and shoot my own original Polaroids. But as a loyal customer, I always found the user experience of the website to be a little frustrating. For this wireframe concept, I wanted to include a full page header focusing on one of Impossible's original products called the iType camera. Another wireframe concept I came up with is for the focus to be on whatever new product recently came out, such as a new limited edition film. Next, I wanted the visitor to scroll down and see all the types of cameras and film Impossible offers, and to have a dedicated section to sign up and join the Impossible community or their newsletter list. I took the same wireframe sketch concept into the Sketch app and improved upon it to create a low fidelity wireframe. To help speed up the wireframing process in Sketch, I used pre-designed blocks created by a product designer here on YouTube, Mackenzie Child. If you're interested in getting your hands on them, I'll put a link in the description so you can check them out. So here's where I started with the wireframe sketch with just paper and pen and the low fidelity wireframe I made in the sketch app. In a following video, I'll take this design further in the sketch app and begin to design the home page. <laughs> 